Attention, prisoner 9038970, you're up for parole. American Arch Radio presents live from Chisel Multimedia Studios. Comics on Parole in Hollywood South. Here's your host, Dan Glazer. Welcome to Comics on Parole. My uh, name is Dan Glazer. T tonight, my guest hosts are Mark and Louie Ev Lo Evans. <laughs> Louie Evans. <laughs> Like Louie that's, Anderson. That's her stripper name. And uh, they're touring comics. They've been around the show several times. You perform all over the country. You performed at Belize recently. Yeah. So Did we're on our first international gig. Now you're on an international gig. And Lori was a school teacher, and she took up comedy, because teaching and comedy stand-up is kind of the same thing. Kind of, yeah. Kind of the same thing. And uh, we're going to talk real quickly here, because we have... Uh, a, a legendary comic, Karen Rotowski, who's going to be coming in. She performs all over the world, and uh, she's going to be coming in, calling in, because this is kind of a Halloween show. We got because it's she's called Paranormal Karen, <laughs> and she she goes to haunted houses, and uh, it, it's very interesting. She'll call in in a minute, but quickly, um, let's show a picture of Mark and Louis Louis <laughs> together. <laughs> Lori together. There's Mark and Lori. There's an eight tour. Yeah. You pretty much always are together, right? Yeah, every chance we get. Very good. Okay. And then, but you don't get too hoochie coochie on stage. You're never on stage together, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. No. That wouldn't be good. No fighting. <laughs> and then uh, also, uh, Mark Evans has a. I, it's called Southern Not Stupid. That's my brand. That's your brand. Yes. Let's show that. And part of my, my show and yeah, my put, stuff. Put it on the full screen. The Southern Not Stupid uh, poster there. You see it? There you go. Go shopping, people. And where do all they go to find your... Uh, um, right SouthernNotStupid.com SouthernNotStupid.com It's have a all store with all kinds of merchandise. Okay, you can take it off now. And at the end of the show, hopefully, we'll have enough time where we'll be able to um, uh, show your video. You have a Southern Not Stupid the song video, video that yeah. you did with Daryl Rhodes. Right. Mr. Daryl Rhodes. So, uh, so anyway, so right now, you're. what are you doing? What are you touring... Uh, my next thing I'm doing is I'm judging a contest in Savannah next week. Oh, yeah. The, the, that's a regular. They do it every year. Once a year, yeah. Tom Paris has a, a, a Savannah Comedy Review. Oh, yeah. And um, the uh, But you're touring. How often do you, you, know, you You're gone a lot throughout the year, right? Um, several times a month, at least, on a really? good month. Yeah. Really? And, if you're, and you're selling all your... Are you, how's the merchandise going? It comes and goes. Uh, yeah. When I go up north, it's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you take it out of the car. Oh, really? But... Uh, it, it people can get passionate about it. And, well, you know, um, this is Halloween, so I saw one of the most frightening things I'd ever seen in my life is your son. <laughs> Let's put that picture up. Does he live with you? Uh, he lives with his dad <laughs> right now. He lives in the sewer. He lives kind of in the goes sewer. back and forth. Yeah, That's frightening. Yeah, he did a pretty good job. Uh, I posted a picture on Facebook, too. His, his very first Halloween, he was a clown, so he evolved uh -huh. from Precious to... Uh, Pretty creepy and evil. This is tomorrow. Evolved, tonight, more or? than you would know. Tomorrow. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Karen Rutowski is going to be calling in, and Karen Rutowski, she has a very hilarious. Uh, uh, he puts them on YouTube and uh, um, all other places, but she goes to these haunted buildings, and she talks about the history, but she makes it very, very funny. Uh, she's going to be calling in in a minute. Uh, but before she calls in, I'll introduce her that way. And then we might, what we do is show a little of her stand-up before she calls in. That way, you know, people can get an idea of what her stand-up's all about. Uh, basically, Karen Rutowski has performed all over the world. Well, in fact, let's put, put, put her picture up, Matt. Put it in between us like we're talking to each other. So I'm going to look like this, like I'm talking to Karen. Does it look like I'm talking to Karen? It's like we're sitting yeah. at the table right I actually now. want to point out to everybody, I thought she was deformed, but that's her hand. That's doing what she's like praying. This. I thought she had... <laughs> Their She's chest praying. cracked open right. or something from that picture like that. God. I was, I felt bad. It's good graphic and really weird. <laughs> so anyway, you know. Kara Rutowski performed all over the world. She's been a comedian since her early twenties. Her early rec uh, career regularly performed at the Comedy Store and the Improv. She has appeared on David Letterman, Samantha Bee. She's performed with Bob Hope, wow. Ray Charles, 
That the monkeys cannot hold a job, can she? No, she cannot <laughs> hold a job. The, I got to ask her about this monkeys thing. Yeah, uh, she has been a regular on Bob and Tom radio show. David Brenner once said about her, "Even if you can't spell Karen Ratowski's name, you better remember it because she's great." So before she calls in, because her real focus is the paranormal Carol, let's uh, let's show a little bit of her set before she calls in. Do the Karen Ratowski 2018. <laughs> Very funny woman, Karen Rontowski, y'all give a hand. Very Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program, uh, Karen Rontowski. Thank you so much. It is so nice to be here today. I tell you, my kids were so bad in Walmart, I actually pulled a fly swatter off the shelf and I spanked them. <laughs> and just as the fly swatter hit their ass, I thought, I don't have kids. <laughs> And I don't understand internet dating. For some reason, men email me inappropriate photos. I know, have you had this happen, ladies? And they're very casual. Hi, I'm Phil, an architect from Cincinnati. Thanks for taking the sexy out of tube socks for me, Phil. I'll never get that back. And then other men email me and they say, hey, can you send me inappropriate photos? And I say, sure, meet Phil. He's an architect. <laughs> it came up on the screen, I was watching Netflix, and this thing came up on the screen that said, your credit card is about to expire, so now I have to figure out how I'm gonna tell my neighbor her credit card is about to expire. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I, don't, I can't spell, I can't spell, and autocorrect is not helping me at all. <laughs> have you ever typed an email and then looked at the screen and the spelling was so bad you thought you might have had a stroke? <laughs> I joined Al-Qaeda, no, I made chili. <laughs> not even close. I can't spell, I got a printer. Now your printer comes with its own email address. You can email your printer from anywhere and it prints. Yes, yes. I don't need that. <laughs> so I gave it to my parents and didn't tell them. <laughs> so now I email it randomly to print things like, you should send Karen her inheritance now. Sincerely, God. And then my father called me. He said, I got a message from God. He said, Karen doesn't deserve crap. And teach her how to spell inheritance. And who's Phil, the architect? I don't know, my whole family is nuts. I remember my aunt, she used to make embroidered inspirational pillows. Yeah, one day she smothered my uncle with one of them. <laughs> the last thing he saw coming at him was, today is the first day of the rest of your life. So right now we have the, let's put Karen right at the table. We're putting your picture like it's sitting right at the table, Karen. So like, I'm gonna pretend like I'm talking there, to there, you. There, there she is. We, that the picture a photo that's I should, great so i'm gonna i'm gonna be talking to your photo does it look like i'm talking it to does you? so uh karen we here. just i introduced you told told how you uh, performed with bob hope ray charles the monkeys and it was funny mark evans and his wife Lori said boy she can't hold a job but anyway uh you <laughs> you really uh, you know i first saw you perform at brad garrett's club I first saw you perform, Karen, at, at Brad yeah. Garrett's club uh, about three years ago, and I was instantly, I was just an instant fan. And I, after the show, you were out there, you know, you sit at the table, I, I don't know if you were selling anything, but you were meeting people, talking, I said, you know, Karen, you're one of my favorite comics, the first time I see you, you're amazing, I, you're, uh, the comedy is just what I like, it's perfect, please ignore that call coming in. <laughs> and uh, you looked at me, Karen, I'll never forget what you said to me, you go, who the hell are you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, Karen, how did we're going to be showing some clips of your paranormal Karen and tell you how did what gave Great. you the idea to start doing this? Actually, before can I yeah. ask her a favor real quick? Yeah. 
Hi, Karen. This is Mark. Uh, we've never met, and uh, I wonder if you don't give me a quick favor, okay? Sure. I want you to unfriend sure. a couple of people so you can take my friend request. You said you're full. <laughs> oh, you. I tried to send you a. a I can follow you, but it said you know you're full, and I can't get a friend request in. So there's got to be a couple of deadbeats in there you don't really want anyway, don't you? <laughs> yeah, sure. There we all have them. Are, and I would absolutely do that. And uh, and also, I want to say I'm glad you're talking with that picture because I did not yoga today at 11 and have not showered since. <laughs> oh, you have a shower too. Where were you at? <laughs> Where were you at? I did hot yoga. I oh, hot yoga. Yeah. Hot yoga. Okay, so we're focusing, well, we're focusing on Karen's paranormal, Karen, uh, Karen. And what, tell us how you got into, I know you've always been very metaphysical, Karen. I'm talking to your picture. I know you've always been very metaphysical, <laughs> but how did you get into this? Uh, you know what? I always had experiences as a kid. Uh -huh. And uh, can you guys still hear me? Yes, we sure can. Okay, because I got a funny click back on the phone, but it, uh, I don't want to go deaf just for this interview. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I was always into the paranormal, and I had quite a few psychic experiences as a kid. And um, the beautiful thing was, as I started doing stand-up and started going all over the world, uh, there was always haunted places, and I would get the ghost on after the shows. So I was just hooked. But um, I, when I was a little girl, it was funny because I was a tarot card in the day, and I always wanted to be a comedian. And my parents said to me, "Here in comedy, may work not work out. So you need a backup plan. Go upstairs and study the occult." <laughs> <laughs> well, your parents are very funny. The, the, the videos with your mom just kill me because you, you put a few a few of the paranormals, oh. right, Karen? <laughs> you put her some yes, paranormal you know, videos. What's that? She goes with me. She's you know, an assistant right now, and uh, her mess not too good. And sometimes when she goes with me, like we went up to Hoosick Tunnel, which is way the hell up in the middle of nowhere, and I have to, I, I said, who's going to go with me? And she goes, I'll go. And then I got halfway up the mountain in this dark, scary tunnel, and I realized, wait, I'm the adult in this situation. I should be saying we need to go back now. And she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it reminds me of is David Letterman with his mother. And by, you know, you were on David Letterman. When I was a kid, he was my local uh, weatherman as a kid in Indiana. Oh, wow. And he got oh. fired because he said it was going to snow the size of basketballs. Or canned or hams. Canned hams. The, 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 the hail was going to be canned hams. Yeah, he was, was our it. local uh, weatherman, and uh, Jane Pauley was our local newscaster. This is, I'm talking a long time ago. But uh, your mom just cracks me up because remind when I first saw it with your mom in the video, remind me of David Letterman and his mother. Oh, that's well. That, what a great compliment! I'll have to tell her. It's so funny because she is. Um, she, I hope that when I get old and lose my memory, I'm like my mom because uh, she is just like, okay, let's go. What's next? Like she is such a sport about everything. I can't. Uh, and I, she goes with me everywhere. I was like. Hey, there's this horrible place called Houghton Mansion where all these people were killed. And oh, you want to go? And she's like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they fun. Well, let's show a, a little bit of the um, the first uh, C O P K R P A R video. We're going to show uh, your uh, promo video. Okay. Hi, everybody. Today I'm at Harvey's in Portland, which is a comedy club that is built over the famous Portland Shanghai tunnels where they used to kidnap people and then sell them Today, I come to you from one of the darkest and scariest places on the planet. It's Florida. Today, I'm at the old abandoned school in Murrieta, which means this place is haunted by those horrible things called children. Today, I'm in the haunted San Carlos Hotel in Phoenix, Arizona. Weeks after its opening in 1928, a young Leona Jensen jumped to her death from the seventh floor after being jilted by her boyfriend, a bellman who worked at a hotel up the street. Ladies, never kill yourself over a bellman. Now the elevator operator, there's a guy with upward mobility. Sorry about that joke. She is seen running up the stairs in her nightgown, which makes me think I should never kill myself at night because I sleep in the nude. I don't want people to be going, oh my God, there's a ghost. That looks pretty good for her age. What is she, 90? Today I'm at Sylvan Beach Amusement Park, which is haunted by a lot more than just acid reflux. 
The park was built in 1870, and one thing we know for sure is it's not haunted by a safety inspector. I'm in the middle of a Civil War cemetery in Reno, Nevada that was started in 1884, which coincidentally enough is the same birth year as most of the people in the audience tonight. Even though Harry Houdini was the greatest escape artist of his time, he was still a man, which leads me to believe he probably couldn't unhook a bra. These are not really that uncomfortable. So I'm here in Long Beach Municipal Cemetery, which is haunted by the ghost of Bella, who was uh, across the street buying a wedding dress, stepped off the bus and got hit by a car. Do we need more reasons not to get married? I put on lipstick so that you wouldn't think I was a ventriloquist doll. It's the closed down Utica Lunatic Asylum. Now remember, it was named this back when lunatic was a good word. At least that's what the nurses in high school told me. Wise Guys is haunted by a ghost that wears a flannel shirt and a baseball cap, which means we've narrowed down his identity to anyone in Utah, male or female. These are the prohibition tunnels where people snuck in coffee and often came down here to swear. In these tunnels, they were very dangerous. People never knew if they were going to run into an opium den or an Osmond. This is former World War II ship, the Queen Mary, now restaurant and hotel, because after killing a bunch of people, a ship just wants to have fun. Ahead of its time, the Queen Mary was the first ship to have surveillance. Unfortunately, this was before video, so it had to be painted, and it was very slow. Ouija board is very dangerous. Okay, so um, you really have to do a lot of research to do these, don't you? Yeah, actually, I, it's so funny because I go to the area, and um, I know I'm, you know, like I'm going back to Ogden in two weeks, and Ogden is like super haunted. Like Utah is ghost hunting heaven. Uh -huh. And um, so I always pick out a place <laughs> first, and then I do all the research on it, and I try and work out the jokes, and then I get there, and sometimes Bat. the jokes make themselves. So um, it is kind of like a history, doing a history of it. Right, right. The uh, but they're really, really fascinating. Like I, you know, I used to, you need to do a show on a haunted mobile home. <laughs> I used to sell medical beds, and I'd see all these rusted, old out, haunted, uh, empty mobile homes. You got to find a haunted mobile home. That would be a good one. They're still alive. Those <laughs> are the ones that are haunting it. They're still alive. I, 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 the mobile homes already came with the ghosts in them. That's probably they, true. <laughs> have you ever seen, I mean, and I'm being very serious right now, have you ever seen entities? Yes, and I've seen, a, the one time I saw a full body apparition was in an apartment I would sleep, uh, you know, apartment that I was renting. Yeah. And um, I, I, it was actually, um, it's like I w had been really into meditation that time, which I still am, but right. at that time I had this serious meditate for one hour every day. So I was sort of in and out of this really sort of in between the veil. And I woke up one night and there was a guy standing over my bed in a denim shirt and denim pants with his arms crossed because a lot of times people see ghosts at the end of their bed because they're sort of in that alpha state. Right. But I saw it clear as day. And I think it's very rude that ghosts do that because I always say there's no one in the world I would rather see more than Liam Neeson. <laughs> but if I'm not ready to see Liam Neeson at the bottom of my bed and he's suddenly at the bottom of my bed, I'm not that happy. <laughs> do you have any idea who it was? No, uh, and I apologize about the echo. I'm running up my steps to get in. Oh, that's okay. My house. <laughs> um. I do not know who it was, and I also, at first I assumed, I assumed it was someone from my childhood that had done something bad, and it was a stranger, and at first I thought he was coming back to make sure I was okay, uh -huh. um, but now the more I know about ghost hunting, I think it was just somebody passing through, it was somebody that had died. It, it was funny because it was in an apartment in San Diego, and I think it was 10 years before I lived there, that apartment was where a plane had crashed. Oh, my it's God. Wow. So maybe he was on a plane. Wow, but he, 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 I, he apparently he was very fond of you. But that's scary that people are watching this while we're sleeping. My God.
That is kind of frightening, yeah. but I believe yeah. you. I believe you yeah. have to and be I'm, in that I'm, office. I'd today. like to apologize for that. <laughs> you would like to apologize. <laughs> Karen, I know we could talk about forever. But I'm getting, the older I get, the more I believe people are, can be truly possessed by good people or evil people. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, and if, if, um, if, you, if people are really interested in these kind of um, the comedy is there, and then my other podcast is called Paranormal Karen, which is very, uh, it's funny, but it's really these paranormal topics. But yes, absolutely. In fact, as an investigator, I have to know a lot of things, like the difference between if someone is possessed or if they have pink eyes. So, <laughs> In fact, let's show uh, the clip of Paranormal Investigator. <laughs> Uh, my name is Karen Rontowski. I am from uh, JTK Paranormal. That's Jump to Conclusions Paranormal. Hi, my name is Karen Rontowski. I'm a paranormal investigator. I'm here to exterminate the demons of dark entity. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong apartment. Uh, right now, I work alone. Uh, I had creative differences with my team over uh, colors. We should wear. And people come up to me all the time and they say, Karen, how do you ghost hunt? And I tell them, well, you go to a haunted place and you turn on a tape recorder and you have the same conversation that married people have during sex. You say things like, can you make some noise so I know you're here? I always carry a badge with me. Uh, it doesn't matter what it says. It just is to show I'm important. I once had a house that uh, a gentleman thought there were ten ghosts in this house. It turns out it was uh, one ghost. The ghost was a ventriloquist. So we always conduct an interview with the client. Can you tell me about your house? Of course. So our house uh, was used in, in Germany during World War II to help uh, escape Jews to get out of the concentration camp. So we were part of the Underground Railroad. Our house was part of the Underground Railroad. And we think that there are spirits here in the house from Jews who died on the way. Well, uh, what year was it built? Our house was built in 1974. Is that your husband? Yeah. <laughs> that was... <laughs> your, your humor, did, and you write all this by yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's my joy, it's my love, you know? It's, uh, I, I, uh, it's, it's all I want, it's the show I want. I just want to be paid to go all over okay. and do my comedy and investigate haunted places. I think that would be the best thing in the world. This, I'm telling you, this could be a sitcom, like a, 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 a Ghostbusters type thing. And, um, do you know, but sometimes these ghosts are their entities. I mean, can they sometimes be the energy of that ghost? rather than the real person. I've heard that before. It could be the energy of that person that was there before, but not the person. Does that make sense? Absolutely. That's called a residual haunting. Right. And what it is, is there's intelligent hauntings or residual hauntings. And residuals is sort of like if, uh, if a old, I live in an apartment, the lady died in this apartment before I had it. Uh -huh. And um, she is, if she made the same motion, well, here's my favorite story about that. I'm, I'm jumping all over. I'm oh, that's okay. This couple moved in. They moved into this house, and every morning when they woke up, the kitchen cabinets were open. No matter what happened, they would close them at night. They would nail them. Every morning they woke up, and the kitchen cabinets were open. So they contacted the people that they bought the house from, and they were the children of a couple that had lived there for like 70 years or some ungodly amount of time. Right. And when they first got married, the wife did not want cabinet covered. She wanted open shelves, and the husband went ahead and put the cover, the cabinets on. So every morning when she got up, she would open the cabinets as a sort of an anarchist move, like, I never wanted these. <laughs> so she did, that. she did that so much with so much feeling that that energy stayed after her death. And she oh, my God. Visual oh, my right. God. So it just kept yeah. So we can, yeah, and it's nothing, it's just a, it's like a videotape that plays over and over, but it's not necessarily that old woman standing there opening the cabinet. Right, it's the energy of. Right. The energy. Right. Well, with that, let's take it to the gas lamp in video. Hello, mateys. Oh, my cowboy hat made me forget where I was. Hello, partner. Today I'm at the haunted gas lamp in in Glendale, Arizona, where it's over 110 degrees. 
So when I got here, I found the place was closed. All I could find were a lot of reviews saying how bad the tea was, which is very suspicious because who makes bad tea? And that it was haunted, but it never said by who or by what. It was like the place was haunted by a mafia ghost. Nothing to see here. You didn't see nothing. You didn't hear me say boo. It was like trying to talk to my elderly father. Hey, Karen, who was that guy? You remember the guy, the guy with the thing? But the good news is I found a giant pretzel. So please enjoy the photos of me with a giant pretzel. music i love the music at the end da, 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 da. so um i'll tell so you you've got it i'm sure there's someone that you could turn this over to to try to get this on a major network or the cable channel well you know what it's on somebody's desk right now but i'm with you but you know it's a very interesting thing people are very um they have not embraced paranormal funny yet and um, it's so interesting because the paranormal industry is mostly women. Right. But they like them represented as kind of, you know, TV likes the man to be the, you know, where all men go something. Right. Um, but you know what? Fingers crossed. I keep making them and, and they seem to be doing better. So I just. You know, I worry about the creative end, and then I hope the rest will take care of itself. Just keep, stay Karen. Stay your dry humor. It's ingenious. Well, you know, uh, one of my favorite shows, Impractical Jokers, yeah. was on uh, True TV, which was the old court TV. Oh, wow. So, you know, you'd think they'd be on Comedy Central or something like that, and uh, that's one of the funniest shows on the, the tr- network. It's on True TV. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't have to. I don't know where you're um, trying to shoot for, but I, I, I'd shoot for everybody. Oh, yeah, just... just Put it out there for anyone yeah. to pick somebody. Up. Somebody will love it and pick it, it up. It seems like Comedy Central would. Well, you know what? I'm. A, I'm. It's kind of interesting. Uh, not that I would say no to anybody, but I need people, and you know, I, I need people to help me do that. I'm not sure how. Right now, it's on a very big desk, right. which happens yeah. through a good friend of mine. So I'll wait and see. But I, I know. Put, put, put this. Put your good words out to agents or managers or anybody that can help me. We're gonna put uh, the auras uh, out there. Huh? Yeah. And I bet you, uh, we're going to go to the next clip, but I bet you see people's auras, don't you? Uh, sometimes I do. Um, but what I, I was going to say, you know what's funny is, I think on Comedy Central, then people don't understand that it's real. Right. That it's a, that's a comp show about paranormal. I like it to be a paranormal show that's funny. Right, right. Like a Discovery right. Channel. So let's watch oh, the, the paranormal the Karen channel. at Haunted Four Corners. Do you think four corners of a street could be haunted? Well, if ever visited Herkimer, New York, and I know no one ever visits Herkimer, New York. In the early 18th century, these four corners became very haunted. They had a jail, a church, a courthouse, and a Cinnabon. In 1834, armed only with newspapers and candles, the prisoners burnt down this jail, which immediately caused the warden to put an end to Tuesday candle newspaper taco nights. Back in the 1800s, these corners were known for some famous trials, including the one of Roxalana Druce, who had an abusive husband and tried to kill him. She shot her husband with a revolver at breakfast, but he didn't die, so her kids ran out to the barn and grabbed an axe so she could cut off his head. This is the first story I've ever heard that made me wish I had children. The trial became a national phenomenon, and even a women's group came in to try and get Roxalana off. Wait, what did I just say? I love that music at the ending. It's the perfect thing. I don't know how you found that music. That was that's perfect. That's perfect. Actually, it came with the editing program. <laughs> it, it did what? It came with the editing program. It's perfect. Oh. It could have been more perfect. Now, also, you go and perform. You uh, do tarot card reading. You do your stand-up reading tarot cards, correct? Yeah, I just finished my weekend at Flappers, and I'm getting ready to release that CD. If anybody wants to go to my website and sign up for my newsletter, is um, I do a stand-up show, full stand-up show, and then I sit down and I do tarot readings, which are real. Uh, but of course, I give people a hard time while I do it and make them very funny. So um, yeah, that's a 
another, see, I'm all wrapped up in the paranormal. That's where I want to be out on the road doing that and then shooting the show. So, yeah, if it's paranormal, i got to cover. Well, let's show a little clip of Karen's tarot readings uh, stand-up. Wait, what's your name, my friend? Wei Hung. Wei Hung? <laughs> okay, then. There seems to be a lot of judgment going on in the room once again. I will turn this show right around. There's a, there's a lot of women that just went, yeah, right. And a lot of guys, and a lot of guys went, yeah, that's my name too. Um, Is your question why you're not more, better represented with your name? Is that? And your question, my friend. Will I get a new job soon? We get a new job soon. Well, I think you ought to change your name on your resume. I think that that's probably the first issue. What do you do, sir? Uh, ceramic instructor. Ceramics instructor? Yeah, not a big call for that right now uh, in this economy. So anyway, Karen, where do people, this, this is ingenious, it's ingenious, and where do people find, what, where should they go to find you, where you're touring, uh, any book, I, you need to, by the way, are you going to write a book? I, actually, I was just doing that, I was, we're just getting ready to do that now, I'm doing an instructional psychic book, and I'm going to do a haunted, funny things book. I'm working on everything, and, and uh, so yes, I, I, uh, I would love to, uh, and whoever wants to just sign up for my newsletter and, and they can get tarot readings or whatever, they can go to KarenRontowski.com or ParanormalKaren.com. And if you plug in ParanormalKaren.com, you can get the web series on YouTube that comes out once a week. Or you can get the podcast, which also comes out. They all come out Friday morning. They can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. All of that, those links are there. And uh, all they got to remember is Paranormal Karen, and they can find me anywhere. You know, um, there are people that are searching these shows and comics on YouTube, and they're making them very, very famous. We have a comic here in Atlanta called Southern Mom. You know Southern Mom? Right. And he's touring the country now with selling out stadiums. All he does is an impression of his mother, mother and grandmother together as a Southern Mom. Someone could be bumping into your paranormal Karen and it could end up being a sitcom. It happen it's happening more and more. Or it could be a YouTube sitcom because they're doing that now. Or Facebook sitcom. They're doing that now. You never know. I know. Well, thank you for getting it out there and enjoying it. And yeah, I think that is I just keep going and and like I said, I, I hope someday to meet people <laughs> that are like, let's sell this. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. You know why it's going to happen? You know why it's going to happen, Karen? It's in the cards. <laughs> it's in the cards. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Karen. This, this is, Karen, this is a great honor. I didn't know whether you would really call in or not. I greatly appreciate it. I kind of was hoping you would. So thank you so much. I'm a huge, huge fan. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I, I just, uh, uh, thank you. I'm thrilled. It's, uh, it's so much fun. And, uh, yeah, and Mark, I'll make room for you on Facebook. And, you know, Karen, I, I, I work in Henderson, <laughs> Nevada, which you can see Vegas. You, you're, you're performing in Vegas a lot, aren't you? I am. I think I'm back in uh, February. I'm oh. back in February. Actually, they can see me, and people can see me in Utah, Ogden, Utah, on the 9th and 10th of November. And then they can see me at Wise Crapper. Wise Crapper? What is that? Wise Crapper? <laughs> Wise Flappers? <Right. laughs> Well, they Karen. From that well, Karen, stay young and stay funny, because you're hilarious. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank hey, you so much. I, say hi to Rich when you see him for me. I will. I'll go right down the street now. Okay, very good. Go <laughs> knock on his window. Okay, look at his window. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Okay, talk to you later. Bye, bye. So anyway, thank you for great. tuning in to Comics on Parole. Tune in in another month when we don't know who will be here, but they will be here. Thank you. Wait.